It is now with great pleasure that NZBC presents the world premiere of a newly discovered Oscar Wilde play entitled The Importance of Being Lady Windermere's Ideal Husband. Mama? Oh, Annabelle, what a perfectly delightful party this is. Everybody is talking about nothing, but nobody is saying anything. <laughs> oh, but we're talking about people, Lady Carstairs. I do adore talking about people. It is a guarantee that they will talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are right, Lord Lampwick. Annabelle, you must go away. Oh. I'm hoping to meet Lord Wildworth shortly. They say he is the most wicked man in society. You would better go and look at the moon. But there is no moon tonight, Mama. Well, go and uh, find one. Yes, Mama. What a perfectly tiresome girl she is. She has no sense of a challenge. Lord Wildworth. Oh, Lord Wildworth. <gasps> oh, Lord Wildworth, how perfectly horrid of you to keep us waiting like this. It was so exciting. <laughs> you have been in the garden. What have you been doing? I have been talking to myself. I confess I was perfectly fascinated with what I had to say. Oh, Lord Wildworth, they say you are the most wicked man in society. Oh, Lady Carstairs, don't say that. The truth is always such a bore. However, it is very pleasant to meet you. Oh, oh Lord Wildworth, is it really you? No. Oh. I am merely an exquisite figment of your delightful imagination. Oh. But tell me, Amanda, who is that lady over there in the heliotrope? with the diamond choker and the ermine earmuffs. That, Lord Wildworth, is your wife. Really? What exquisite taste I have. Remind me to divorce her. I should like to be her lover. Oh, oh Lord Wildworth, you are so irresistibly wicked. You seem to be interested only in what is either wholly bad or wholly beautiful. I am only interested in what is wholly bad. Oh. Beauty is interesting only because it arouses our enthusiasm. And enthusiasm is the greatest of evils. It is the beginning of religion. Uh, what? Where did you get this gorgeous beast? You're speaking of the flunky I love. Love? Love? What do you know of his breeding? Oh. Annabelle, come here. Yes, Mama. Young man, where were you born? Under a gooseberry bush, my lady. Gooseberry Bush! Oh, what? In 1885. <laughs> Not a good year for gooseberries. <sighs> but now I must be merely dull. I must go at once. There is a new play on at the St. James's. They say it is a tremendous success, but I confess I don't remember writing it. Oh, I'm sure you did. Yes, of course. Thank you. I trust you've enjoyed meeting me. <sighs> Mama, you always said that I was born under a gooseberry bush. Young man, where was the your gooseberry bush? In Leighton Buzzard, my lady. Leighton Buzzard? There is only one gooseberry bush in Leighton Buzzard. Then you must be my brother. Your brother? Your mother? Your lover. 